Mary Bielsen? Yeah. Hi, welcome to the Park Board. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting and may transmit the meeting to any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived by those present, and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Roll call for the commissioners. Uh, Mr. Farias. George Schollenberg. Paul Amigo. Marcy Yetkin. Acceptance of the agenda for July 17th. Make a motion accept the meeting of the July 17th Motion's meeting. Motion's been accepted. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have been. Thank you. We also need um, a motion to waive the acceptance of the minutes for the previous minute uh, meeting on June 5th, 2019. Aye. I make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Citizens input. Please keep in mind that's the three minutes. And stick to the topic. Grace uh, Gerling. Yep. I'm going to bring all vaginally up with it. Okay. Okay. So that works. Thank you. Be quicker and easier. Yeah, We're talking on the same topic, so. That's quite all right. Could you um, state your name and address, please? Yes. Grace Gerling, I'm the Executive Director of Greater Fall River Recreation, located at 45 Rock Street. Okay. Welcome, Grace. Hi. Paul Fagioli, Vice President for Recreation at 45 Rock Street in Florida. Great. So we're here on behalf of the city-run uh, carnival that's been proposed for August 1st mm -hmm. through August 4th uh, at Kennedy Park. Uh, recreation would be the beneficiary um, of the carnival um, as far as the fundraising uh, that takes place with the carnival. Um, we, our agency has been around for 45 years. We have, um, we, we work very closely with Community Development Agency. We receive funds through Community Development Block Grants providing services to the uh, socioeconomically disadvantaged youth here in the city of Fall River. It co goes from recreational programming, educational programming, outreach programming. Uh, we also do free events here in the city. Uh, we're currently running uh, our summer, our free summer lunch in the parks program. We're at eight parks, four ho five housing developments. Uh, and numerous schools throughout the city that we provide free lunches. We provide, we give it, giving kids jobs here in the city. Um, and as you know, as a nonprofit, uh, year after year, it becomes more and more difficult to continue finding uh, grants, uh, to stay afloat with our programming. Uh, so fundraising is, um, it, it's needed uh, for agencies like us. Uh, and, th and this is something that we used to do many, many years ago. Um, we actually did it at Kennedy Park. Uh, we worked with the same um, uh, carnival company. Uh, they have a wonderful reputation. The gentleman is here. If, if you have any questions about, um, you know, what 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 they do there, uh, and they've been throughout the entire uh, New England area and and, and outside of the New England area. Um, that's we just think that the carnival will be good for the community as well. Give them a, something that they can do. That's. Um, you know, that we don't have around here. I mean, there's no type of activities or things of that nature for kids to do that would be fun and enjoyable and family oriented. So yeah, I think in addition to it being a fundraiser for us, I think it will be great for the community as well. Okay, great. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks. Carlo Caesar. Just the subject. Hello. Hello. Once again, thank you. The boards. Could you please state your name and address, please? Carlos Caesar, 367 Frost Street, Fall River, Mass. And I'm going to try to be as brief as I can. Okay. First point I would like to make is this is somebody trying to make a point. 
This is not a fundraiser, and I will explain why. Facts. If this board are refusing to have carnivals in city parks, it's for one reason. And the reason is that the companies that used to bring the carnival, the carnival that used to come here, destroyed the parks. That's evidence. That's why the park board had the rule. When, at the last time that I was here, that I said that I would like to the board to waive the rules and go in one by one, one point that, that I said that was to make sure that the carnival that destroyed and abandoned our parks will never again put foot in our city. Or else we didn't have needs to be here. Why it's not a fundraiser? A carnival that's gonna run four days. If one day rains, all the profit is gone. Okay? So that it's not a fundraiser. I said it to this board before that I'm not against other groups bringing carnivals. Matter of fact, I said that I would like to work together and to help them to get a carnival so they can take profits from a carnival too. So that's not the point, it's not for me, it's not for nobody, no. I sat it here on, the, on this board, on this table before. I would love to have a carnival and have other organizations benefiting from the funds coming from the carnival. So, to conclude, I know this is going to happen. Either way, if you, this board approves or not. But if it happens, even if you're not going to... Uh, uh, excuse me? No, I'm talking to them. Oh. Sorry, I was just... I thought that. you were ta They're telling me no, my no, time no, no, is no. up. No, no, I'm not. Okay. No. Citizen so, input, just... Sorry, Carlos. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Citizen input is closed, okay? Anybody else has to sign up, it's just closed, okay? <laughs> Thank you. So, um, with, that, with that being said, I, I think this is going to happen either way if you vote yes or no. This is a point. I can do it when I want it for who I want it. That's the point that's going to be made. If this kind of all happens, I hope this board follows the rules of the financial because I was asked for my financial report, which I provided you to know everything that happened with the money and how much money I had it in the bank. In disclosure, and to finish, my comment about suing the board, I want to make it very clear. My comment was, if this board approved it, I will come forward, anybody else will come forward and ask for carnival. And if this board refuses to approve other people, then we will have a case of discrimination for bad practice. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Jean Dean? Jean Dean? Yes. I don't need to speak unless you have some questions, I'm sorry. I don't. We don't have any questions. Uh, you, you signed up for citizen input. I'm with Fiesta Shows. Yeah, we don't need yeah. to. Okay. Yep. Thank, you. Thank you, though. It's nice of you to come. No questions. Yeah, but we can't do it. <coughs> uh, citizen input. Julie uh, Cardoza. Good luck with that. It's Petruska. Petruska. Okay, Julie. <laughs> Oh, yes, it does look like the trust can yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Julie, welcome. Thank Let's you. Take your name and address, please. Sure. It's Julie Cardoza Petrusca, mm -hmm. 140 Oakland Street, Far of a Mass. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, you're welcome. I am sorry I'm here tonight. I'm here about Oak Grove Cemetery. So, I had the misfortune several months ago, my daughter passed away and yeah. is buried at Oak Grove I'm Cemetery. Sorry, yeah. <clears throat> sorry for your loss. Thank you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Good time. 
I do. Oh. <laughs> I've become my mother and I carry them with me all the time. Um, so, I wanted to, I'm here about safety and security, Oak Grove Cemetery. I'm concerned about it. I want to say first that the good news is frontline staff at Oak Grove Cemetery have been terrific. Um, I had the misfortune at, I'm not the mom that everybody read about and heard about that had some things taken from her daughter's grave um, a short time ago. Um, another mom that's very close in terms of proximity um, who had some things stolen. That happened to me uh, with my daughter around Mother's Day. Frontline staff at the cemetery were great and were very helpful, responsive, professional. Um, but I do have some concerns that I have continued to have, not with frontline staff. I've had concerns about Oak Grove Cemetery in terms of there are nip bottles there. I go almost every day to see my daughter. There are nip bottles there. <coughs> there are skid marks on the street in front of where my daughter's grave is um, that look like people are peeling out on dirt bikes in there. Um, there's trash strewn about, and it, it's cleaned up that day, but this is happening on an almost daily basis. So I wanted to share some of those, This, and I mean not just regular trash like paper, things of that nature, it's household trash like rugs and construction debris, like somebody's dumping things in there. Um, and I'm just concerned if we don't get a handle on it, it's, a, it's for parents like me, we're in distress enough. This is a horrible thing to be going through, but it's really a terrible look for Fall River. And I know we all care, and this is not something that we want for anybody. And we don't want this for our families. A lot of us have families there. So if we can, moving forward, kind of strategize about what we want, for our families and what we want Oak Grove Cemetery to look like. I'd be willing to be a participant in that and be creative and think out of the box. And I know that it can be a financial thing, but we can be creative. We have a lot of great minds in this city. Let's think about what we want to do. Um, you know, let's come up with some ideas. Okay, and we need you. to do it now, not, not later, because I think we're losing control there. I really do. I'm there all the time, and it's it's not looking good. It's looking pretty bad. Okay, and again, it's not the people that are working there on a daily basis. They've been super. I can't say enough about them. Okay, thank you. Christine Sear. Hi, Christine. Welcome. Uh, hello, my address is 3, 385 President Avenue, Fall River. Um, mine's kind of com complicated because I don't know if I should be in here under citizen input. This is where I'm starting off because I tried every other angle. November <coughs> of this past year, I was put in the position of um, on the Urban Tree Commission in Fall River. I was sworn in on January 3rd. Okay, Seven months later, I'm here in front of you to find out what's going on. Let's start off with the ordinance that the um, I believe Ms. Wardell has started back in 2004. There's a tree commission ordinance. And what it states, it just goes down the list of who the chain of command, how everything is supposed to fall in place with any trees or any plant in any disposal of anything in the city, any property of the city of Fall River. Well, I started going through this, and I saw that the tree commission falls under the park department, okay? Well, so far, there's not been one meeting of the tree. Okay, right, yeah. There's not, there has been. I have contacted everyone, emails. I keep on getting, we're going we're gonna to get back to you, we're going to get back to you. There's, I have the list of this. I, they don't even have your name on here yet. There was a gentleman at the last meeting saying he was on the tree commission, so okay. he said, there's nothing. And it's, n it's not through lack of trying to contact. I actually had a meeting on the sixth floor today, but it was postponed because the, um, there was uh, something going on at um, one of the parks for the Junta Little Top Park. So I postponed it till, well, they postponed it till next Wednesday. So I was going to wait and I said, you know what, I'm not. I'm tired of this. It's July, still no response. But 
after going through much research, much research, Facebook, everything, there's a lot going on that shouldn't be going on that I personally think. There is a group. Can I excuse sure. me for one minute, uh, Christine? Could I ask that we take these, the rest of the citizen input and do, you can come back up under the street tree planning and tree committee? Perfect, because I didn't know which one to sign That's under. That's fine. Because just that way there. Uh, that would be absolutely <laughs> fine. Because you're on the tree committee. Right. That would be more appropriate for that. And that right. way there we could get through citizen input. If you don't. Oh, yeah, because mine's lengthy. I was going to ask for extra time. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. perfect. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Is it uh, Tori or Tony Corey? Oh, Tom, Tom Corey. Oh, I'm sorry, I saw the eye. It started. <laughs> Tom Corey. Good evening, School Committeeman Tom Corey. How are you? Yes, School Committeeman Tom Corey, 477 Sherman Street, Fall so, River, Mass. You're here as a citizen, though. I'm right? here as a citizen. Okay. Here, here as a youth advocate, okay. citizen youth advocate. I have a question for any of you. Um, you remember Lincoln Park. How many have ever gone to Lincoln Park? That's well, right. This is citizen input, so we just have to stick. You have to speak. Well, we, don't, we can't go back, or we'll probably be in violation of something. That's so. fine. <laughs> So I know, I know that anybody that's ever gone to Lincoln Park leaves there with smiles on their faces, not frowns, because amusement is so incredibly important to childhood development and growth, psychological, mental health, all that. And um, I believe as a community, as a city, we have a mor moral obligation for a quality of life for our youth in the city. So I'm here to advocate strongly on behalf of a carnival in support of community development recreations re request to have a carnival. I'm not, <coughs> not specifying any area of the city. I just want to have the availability of a carnival for all of the youth and families of our city uh, because it would give them quality of life in the hot summer months. A lot of people who are working two jobs would have an easy access to a nice night out with their children. Issues like that are so important. I've spent my entire career working on behalf of youth as a, an educator at Durfee and taken up on uh, working with teenage groups such as One Earth, One People Under the Sun, the Peaceful Coalition, Anti-Gang Coalition, and currently I serve on the Youth Violent Prevention Task Force I am on its steering committee. So most of my work in my adult life has been involved with city youth. And I see this opportunity now for us to move forward to have a festival. I appeal strongly to you as a park board to consider it strongly and to consider it with compassion as we move forward to provide these opportunities for our kids. Lincoln Park is no longer and New Bedford is a different city so people don't feel always akin to going to a different city with that. Lincoln Park was a neutral site so if we could bring a festival with uh, Ferris wheels and, and rides for the children to one of our city parks then I'm all for it and I appeal strongly on behalf of that. Thank with you. that I thank you very much. Thank you. And I apologize Tom I thought there was an eye there so. That's okay. All right. Oh boy I'm ready to is this crossed off or did they, uh... No, but... Okay, Louie? Mm -hmm. It's crossed off and... No, I have these two people. Oh, okay. Oh, the more, okay. It doesn't have. Hi, welcome. Hi. My name's Kirsten Anderson. My name's Rui Bredo. Okay, you're Rui. Okay, could you state your name and address, um, please? Rui Bredo, 425 Pierce Street. Okay. Kirsten Anderson, 2082 Robeson Street. Welcome. Um, we're here today to talk about safeties in our parks. Mm -hmm. So at school we did a project and they asked what is a problem in Farber that we feel that's important and needs to change and we came up with community safety in our parks. Um, so we would like to put devices in the parks um, like these, like these, and these devices um, 
Do you want to talk about the device? Yeah, I'll talk about the device. So the device is as actually, I don't know if you, you guys have implemented it inside the park trail uh, along Quick the Chan River. We felt that these could also be implemented in parks such as North Park and areas where kids will be playing, such as Highland, of course. These units will cost about $1,500, um, and we felt these could help kids feel safe within the parks, as some kids do not feel safe in the parks, as such as me. I don't feel safe in my parks, personally. And we reached out to the police department to get their input, and they f said that they work really hard to make Farber safe, but they think it would be a good addition uh, because they can't be everywhere all the time. So they thought this would be a good addition to our parks. Um, and so the devices are very easy to program. They can put five phone numbers in, so you can do police department, hospitals. Um, oh, I have another one, right? Can I have the next? Um, and then um, the devices also um, are fully solar powered and self sustaining. They're waterproof, and the uh, button will, you can pick what uh, department you'd like to speak with, and they will come and assist you. Um, and the call stations are really easy to put in parks because they can be placed on a wall or an ex already existing pole, and it's and it would make the parks a lot safer for kids and families. Thank you very much for this information. We appreciate your time and resource in this, and we will definitely look for it. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Do you have any other information on this? Uh, um, I yeah. Mm -hmm. This gives all the information about the device. Okay. Great. Thank you. This is it. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, Street Tree, Tree Committee. Christine, motion to waive the rule to have Christine. Motion to waive the rules. Nation laws has been Second. made. Second. Seconded by. We did it first. Victor? Victor? Okay. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Again, welcome. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, do I need to repeat it all? No. 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 All right. I'm going to take from where I left off. So, in this process. I would win. I would state your name. Christine Sear. And yeah, Urban Tree Commission, okay. 385 President Avenue, Fall River. Thank you. Okay, so in my research, I came up with quite a bit that I was a little surprised at. Um, first of all, they're really, like, as I said, I went to City Hall, I went to the clerk's office to find out if there was any meetings. There hasn't been a meeting. There's no record of any, um, you know, meetings, ever, like, in a long time. The last time somebody even checked in on it was... Um, when the last person who is now off the board, well, supposedly off the board, um, 2015, okay? So that from my understanding, there's supposed to be six or seven people on this board. How many people do we have on the now? Well, um, who's, who's the chair? Who's the chair? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's four people that are supposed to, be, well, Actually, your name, I believe, is supposed to be a PAC member that's supposed to be on the board right, also. And I believe that was you. But your name is not on there as of yet. My name is the first one. <laughs> it, it, it just says vacant. My name is the first one. And then there's um, a John Brandt. B-R-A-N-D-T. But his he expired, his term expired uh, 4-27-15. Okay. Um, is there... Motion for Mr. Perry to come down and, and have oh. some information so maybe we can get this because yeah. make, make, make a motion okay. for second. Okay, so the motion's been waived for uh, John Perry to come down and speak regarding the trees hi, 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 by folks. Helen and seconded by Commissioner Farias. Hi, Welcome. folks. Okay. Uh, John Perry, uh, Director of Community Maintenance. Thank you. So, um, Ms. Se Ms. Sears' uh, concerns are valid and actually accurate as far as the meetings of the Tree Commission. There haven't been any. Uh, the Commission was never truly formed completely. I'm not sure if we, there was ever even a meeting to begin with after it was formed initially. Um, Ms. Sears is uh, a member of that. Uh, Mr. Brandt, uh, so there are certain criteria that are required. I don't have that information in front of me. You I may want, you. you may have it. So uh, a park board member, we have Joe. a city resident, uh, just a, a normal, typical city resident. You need a member of the business community. You need a certified arborist, and you need a certified uh, um, landscape architect. 
Okay, so that way it covers all the bases of anything that may come up uh, that needs to be discussed with experts that are, are, are versed in, in those fields. Um, I believe it may have been Ms. Sia that brought up the concern that the Tree Commission does not meet. Uh, so we've actively been working on trying to get that to happen. <coughs> I've been working with City Planner Bill Roth uh, on, on filling those vacant positions and to date at this point, the last two that need to be filled are the certified arborist, which is, um, and, and another thing with the commission, um, the, uh, they all have to be city residents. Uh, so the certified arborist has been a challenge um, to find somebody within the city that is willing to. We have an arborist that we contract with, but uh, they're out of state. Um, they won the bid for the contract, so they're out of state. Um, that arborist that operates with us and looks into the trees that may come before the board and whatnot, she, she isn't a city resident. So we have to find a city resident that is, is an arborist that would be willing to partake in this. As far as the landscape architect, we have recently had uh, a gentleman who's um, joined the Forward the Street Tree Planting Program, who is a landscape architect. Uh, he actually helped us with a planting we had at North Park recently that you guys approved. Um, so we're in talks with trying to get him to to uh, jump on board with the, the, the tree commission. But don't you have a quorum now? We don't have, I mean... Because it's a seven. If it's seven, then four is a quorum. Mm. So you have Miss... Well, I don't know if Mr. Souza, that's the other name, Mark Souza, if he's still around. Right, so we Because the last time I looked it up, um, they said click here for information, and Miss Wardell's obituary came up on my screen. Yeah. said for information yeah. contact, so and her, it was her obituary. All right, so we have... <laughs> we have the business, yeah. the business person aspect, the business owner aspect of it. We have four people four. right now. Correct. On the board. So that the list that she has is correct then, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So But that's not that's my concern quorum, as far as um that's a quorum, what's going so that is a quorum, be, yeah. Who's the chairman of that board? There, there hasn't it hasn't been established well, yet. So we were trying to get all of the pieces in place so that there's well, a full board because if we go with four where we don't if I can just finish my point and, and then we can we can take it from there. But um, if we don't have, much like tonight, right, we had, if we only had four members, you have a quorum. Um, but I don't think that the board, and, and I'm not speaking for the board, would maybe feel comfortable going forward with only four members. So if there were two vacant seats, it'd be very difficult all the time to have a quorum. You'd need those same four people to show up. I think that's the point of having more people than necessary. Um, now, I mean, we could set, Ms. Sear and I and Mr. Roth could work with her to set a meeting uh, upstairs in my office or in the planning department office to start this process and discuss how we get this to the point where it needs to be. Well, just um, so you know, though, if we have four people here, this is a quorum. Oh, I know, I understand. If we have vacant seats, we have vacant seats, but we still have to move forward because there is business here. That you has just to don't move forward. But you do have appointed members that are on the board. Whether they're here or not tonight, they are options by block. one other one, mm -hmm. and that's it right yep. now. Yep. But what I'm saying is maybe they could meet yep. just so that, because Absolutely. anything they meet comes back up, it's a recommendation, comes back up to the sure. board. So sure. maybe we could just start having some yep. communication, you know? Well, that brings up my other point. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you would think that nothing's going on with this. Right. Okay. So according to the ordinance, there's certain chains of command that you have to follow. Well, I came across this group. It's a vol it's a, um, actually a volunteer. It's a, they have a 501C. They're the ones who have been going around planting trees everywhere. And that's the Fall River Street Tree. So they, uh, they actually have an application that if you want to plant a tree anywhere in the city, whether it's a memorial or anything like that. And I don't know if you've ever gotten any of this, because because this is an application they take from people. It's on Facebook. It's an application they take from people stating that um, I request a tree or trees be planted along the city sidewalk, adjutant to the above address. Then you can also put the amount of trees that you want. I am the owner tenant. Then they ask you if it's concrete, asphalt. I mean, this is city property. Then you can also put a memorial tree in honor of your loved one. So to me, they're doing this, and according to their Facebook, they just wrapped everything up in, um, like, there's people that said, oh, I have a tree put up in front of my property. Okay, thank you for river tree planting. Um, and somebody wrote, are there any trees available for the neighborhoods? And says, you can email our president. I'll give you her address after. So this group, which is a 501C, who are volunteers are actually 
fundraising, because they have $7,000 in their account right now, which I looked up, but they're not going in front of the park board or the cemeteries or anything like that. Who's giving them permission to plant? Because first of all, if they go on the city or anywhere and they decide to plant a tree, the highlands, a lot of those old wires are underground. Okay, they're just going out there planting them, as from what I can see. By right, you should be following the chain of command. Okay, I had a tree in front of my house that fell last September. I went through the proper chain, even though I'm involved in this, the hole in front of my house, the tree was dead. I couldn't get that tree removed. The tree was dead. It, I lost a car, I lost the whole front of my house. It took six months before I could get the cement filled. So I'm on the commission and I'm following the proper where I don't know who this group is. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> Well, I know who the group is, but... But they have Arbor Day, and Arbor Day is supposed to come under the park boards and the tree commission. You're supposed to approve it first before they do the anything. That group. Excuse me? Who's the head of that it, Her name Tori. is... Tori. Tori Adams. Tori Adams. Okay, so, so I don't know about this uh, application. Can, can the board... Sure, that, you, can, you can keep this. Okay, thank you. The Fall River Street Tree Planting Program is, is, is something we call each time we have one of these meetings. It's been in, it was established by Marianne Wardell initially, um, rest her soul, um, and this group does a, a terrific job planting the trees in the city. Um, I do definitely sympathize with Ms. Sears' opinion as far as the tree commission and that it should have been formed already and should have held meetings. Um, but I just don't think it, it would be um, respectful of the work that the Fall River Street Tree Planting Program has done to undermine the work that they I'm do. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying follow the chain of command. I'm not here to argue. Like, like so. in other words, there's rules. There's, there's rules, there's regulations, there, and it exactly. says it in the ordinance. Okay, all right, great. Fall River Street Tree Planting Program has come before the board for plantings in the parks before the memorial tree that we just planted at North Park, as I mentioned earlier. So there has been discussion in this very room about the Fall River Street Tree Planting Program. This isn't a new organization. Uh, we meet monthly in my office with the city planner, the arborist that I spoke with, that we contract with. And again, Ms. Sears' point is correct. That specific commission and chain of command should have been established and followed all of these years and, and so on. Um, unfortunately, uh, too, like too many things um, in the past, uh, we're pro reactive as opposed to proactive. Um, so now that you know this has really come to the forefront, uh, we are working and taking every step we can to get the commission in place, uh, get the proper people on it, and, and have these meetings set on a monthly basis. As a matter of fact, our monthly meeting this was supposed to be today uh, with the street tree planting program, and I canceled that meeting. Um, for concerns of the fact that we are forming the tree commission and that we, we hopefully will have that in place. Uh, so I put that meeting aside and um, as far as the street tree plantings on the streets, um, we do plant in the highlands, we plant in the south end, we plant in every neighborhood of the city. Uh, we dig safe each and every location that we plant at. We are very, very responsible about how we go about the process to make sure that uh, no wires are cut, uh, nothing is severed, uh, and we pick the right species of tree working with the arborist to make sure that they're only going to grow a certain height so we don't have many of the problems that you see within the city at this point where oak trees were planted 30 years ago and now you have four or five sidewalk squares popping up. Well, who takes care of these trees? We, we, the street tree planting program helps take care of them initially, but the homeowner um, signs an agreement that they will maintain the tree that's in front of their property. At the end of the day, once it's done, um, if they would to move or whatnot, I mean, it becomes another self-sustaining tree within right, the city, and if something the, would come right, back. So we need to be, like, on the same page, too, because I think that now we're all over the place. So maybe we could, um, <coughs> I don't know, maybe we don't know the chair. I have a larger... Do you want her name? I can write her. Well, it's right on. I can get all. Of, I can get all of that information to you. I can all get right. her contact. But what I would say was, well, I would read. I'm not looking for her contact. I'm looking. We no. need to. You need to get the group together at least to communicate and say hello. Or I something. will. I will, I have Miss Sears' email uh, and get address. John and who else is on that list? 
Mr. Souza. Oh, you, Mark Souza. I don't and, even know if he's still. Right. Maybe, so, maybe you could work on getting a meeting mm -hmm, together because mm -hmm. you have a yeah. quorum legally. Right. Have a quorum. Right. So, right. and anything you just. I just don't want my name on something that for seven for the last seven um, actually nine months, and I've never as much as I've been trying to contact. And if something comes up, they say, "Oh, Christine yeah, Sear was on that." Uh, right. You know, sorry, that's not going to happen with me. You know. Okay. Well, thank you, and I apologize, okay. but I have faith we'll, we'll get to the bottom. So of I will so, reach out to Miss okay. Sear tomorrow. We will set some times right. and, and figure out some times we can meet. We'll get the people involved together, and yeah. and we'll take it from there. Yeah, and I would suggest that you know, you, you, the whole commission gets mm -hmm. together so right. that we're there. They can. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank, you. you. thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> New business. Open meeting law complaint from Colin Dias. I do have to say that we have one, and unfortunately, because of the um, unanticipated time that we received this um, open meeting law violation, does allow the chairman to accept it and put it on the agenda, which I have. And um, so we have um, one from the agenda of June 6th, um, another one for board's uh, willful violation of the open meeting law and political support, filed on 7-17, another one. Um, his right to assembly, another violation, and another one um, that is um, regarding uh, just ac an accusation. So I would say that we, I would entertain a motion <coughs> to um, accept and um, send it to Corporation Council. Make a motion. All of them. Operation Number Council. one, two, three, and four. Make Helen, you motion. made a motion. Uh, Second yeah. Corporation Council. And Victor, you seconded it? Yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh. Well, that's what's listed on the agenda, so they're all listed. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. So Nancy, will you forward these all to? Well, it might be three, but if it's like two and one, <coughs> probably five. Six, six. I don't know, yeah. mm -hmm. I don't know. Six, so thank you. So Nancy, you'll do that. Thank you. Um, item B has been withdrawn. Item C, request for South Coast Health, handing out sunblock, hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer, July and August, weather permitting. From 12 to 3. Um, I just don't see a day. Do they have days or? Would it interfere with any of the? I think they do that when the kids are having their, their uh, lunches. They've never done it before. They've never done it before? Can we get some? We'd like to do it at the splash pad. Uh, to Boston, but no date. Is there a way we can find out what day they will? I can. I mean, if the board wants to approve certain dates, not every day, that's the board's purview. Because I don't, doesn't it, uh, don't we have lunch in the pots too? We're really going to just stand and pass this off. With information, I'm sure they want to set up a table of some sort. Yeah. All right. Motion to accept. Make a motion, John. Yep. Yeah. Do you want to limit the dates so that I can, you know, one day a week, two day. I mean, I got to give them the information. How are we? One day a week. Every other 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 week. Every
Every week. Every week. From 12 to 3. Is there a motion? I'll make, I'll make a motion. Helen made Second. a motion. Seconded by Commissioner Farias. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Renovation of Etna Street Park, CBA. Mike, you want to come down? Motion to waive the rules for Mike Dion to come down, please. Motion to waive the rules. Second. The motion has been waived and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Good evening. Um, I'm here tonight to talk also about another item, if I could be invited down later, concerning the carnival. Um, uh, I'm here tonight. Uh, you all received correspondence from my office. Um, as you all are well aware, um, my office spends a considerable amount of money uh, rehabbing parks throughout the city. Uh, over the last five to seven years, uh, we have probably spent over 1.5 to 2 million dollars in several parks throughout the city um, and in looking uh, and speaking with Nancy uh, we looked at uh, maybe redoing the Etna Street Park. Um, Etna Street Park is located in uh, a very high low income census track. Um, it's 70.13 percent of the people that live in that census track are low income which is exactly what community development funding is required. Um, the park also, as you're well aware of, abuts the floor of a housing authority, uh, Maple Gardens Housing Development. So what I'm here tonight is to ask for the board's permission. Um, I have a three-year contract with uh, William Stock Architects. Uh, they do all of the design work. Um, they also do the bidding and award phase and will also work through the con construction phase until it's finished. Um, I'm here tonight because their proposal is um, for the construction and contract document phase is $15,000. So I do not want to spend $15,000 if this board is not um, uh, going to approve this. Uh, the park right now is uh, in deplorable condition. Uh, it has uh, park playground equipment that I think goes back to the 50s. <laughs> um, what we're looking for is uh, to remove the existing asphalt basketball court and hoops and provide for new asphalt basketball court hoops and team benches. Uh, there are some really bad cracks that go through the basketball court, so we would not be able to do what we did in other parks where we did an overlay. Um, we will have to take it all out. Uh, we want to remove all the existing play equipment and provide a new mulch play area uh, with new play equipment install six new park benches mounted on concrete pads, do two picnic tables, one picnic table to be accessible, uh, handicap accessible. In speaking with the housing authority, um, the, the ho housing units that abut the park um, are handicap accessible units. So um, they will have uh, some handicap accessible features to the park so they could use it. Provide a new three foot uh, chain link fence uh, along the south side of the park, uh, there is nothing there now which would cause the kids to run into Etna Street and could get hit by a car. Um, provide for a couple new trees, uh, a new flagpole, some trash receptacles, and look at maybe providing new sod uh, throughout the entire property. Also, one of the uh, other reasons why I'm here this evening in the letter, um, uh, we'd like to dedicate, with the board's approval, this park to um, the former director of the community development agency, someone who started the community development agency from scratch. He's the architect. His name is Mr. Paul Poulos. Um, he was the community development director for 35 years uh, and passed away in 1998. Um, and like I said, he's been the president of the National Community Development Association. And uh, what you see, a lot of what you see happening now was built um, uh, on uh, his his watch. He really um, knew what he was doing, uh, and we're carrying it forward. Uh, so that's basically what I'm here tonight to ask for your approval to move forward. Um, we would what we would do is I would work directly with closely with Nancy. That's what I was um, Make ask. sure that all the plans are drawn up, mm -hmm. that those plans are submitted to the board for your approval. Okay. Um, uh, actually, get the board to look at them if there's any design changes that the board would like to make. Uh, I would like to, uh, at that point, if it's agreed upon, uh, send it out for bid uh, with a couple options. Um, I don't know if we would be able to afford all new sod 
So um, I'd like to make that an option on the procurement uh, process uh, and then keep you abreast of what's happening throughout the, uh, the entire process. So you would be working, it would be Nancy, you, and so you know the... It would be Nancy and I working uh, together uh, closely um, and the construction part of the project would be handled by stock architects. So whatever is put in the original bid documents in the project, uh, nothing will be coming out of them. Um, what people bid on is what we're going to put in. Uh, I know you've had some issues with some park projects through CDA. You got to understand, CDA is a funding agency. Um, we do not. I do not know anything about building playgrounds. Um, so, uh, you know. Thank you for that clarification. I have a great working relationship with Nancy. Um, I respect this board immensely. Thank you. So, um, I would not want to do anything, and, and the rep reputation of CDA would not want to do anything that would sour that that great working partnership together. Great. Nice. Thanks for all this information. It's nice and very much welcomed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. So, thanks, Nick. Um, okay, so is there a motion to accept? A motion to accept the. Uh, at the street park, park CDA. Um, I would ask in it, um, if we could attend that to hold off on the um, <coughs> dedication because we're not sure if we need something from Corporation Council. No, what you have to do is you have to submit to the planning board. They investigate if it's been named after someone before, if it has any, they okay. put it through that, then it goes to the council. But the board can motion in second to um, put that to start that process. We can start the process. To right. see if, there is, if, it has, if it has been named after something before. If this is not, a separate motion from the motion. I would make it a separate Yes, motion. it is. It's got to be a separate motion. I'll make a motion to start that process, please. Okay, so there's a motion by Commissioner Schoenberg. Second. And seconded by Commissioner Farias to start the process to see um, if this has been named from or for somebody. And if, not, right. and if not, then, yeah. So it's been emotionally improved, and thanks, Mike. It looks nice. Thank you. Yeah, we're excited. Nancy's excited, aren't you, Nancy? Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Now, the, the next one, item E, Calvary Temple, use of Lafayette Park, July 24th, 31st. Before yes. August 7th and like from 5 to 8. Motion to approve. Motion second. to accept and approve. Second. It's been from Commissioner Schoenberg, seconded by Commissioner Rigo. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Liability policy is on file. Liability on file. Okay. Uh, F tree <coughs> removal for 1047 Ray Street, corner of Ray and Archer. Chris, do you want to come down? Motion to waive the rule for Chris. Motion to waive the rules. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. So, Chris, have you gone out to 1047 Ray Street to see this? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I have. Uh, the tree shows some signs of rot as well as some evidence of insect damage, um, probably from carpenter ants. Um, and there's also some visible signs of uprooting. So, the recommendation would be. Uh, to approve the removal of the tree at 1047 Ray. Okay, so, so we need a motion to approve? We need a motion to uh, approve the tree at Ray Street. At 1047, 1047 Ray Street. Okay, Commissioner Farias and seconded by Commissioner Rigo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you, Chris. Item G, request for the third annual police public palooza, August 20th. Motion to accept. Second. So motion to accept from Commissioner Rigo and seconded by Commissioner Schuberg. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Third annual. Mm -hmm. PAL Girls Softball Request for Ruggles Park, Pine Street. Item F. 
Motion to approve. Motion to approve has been second for uh, Commissioner Schuenberg and seconded by Commissioner Farias. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? The ayes have. They will have to provide the same documents as the other ones. Right. Item I, CD Rec Basketball at Britland, July 10th, well, through August 21st, cheerleading at Bicentennial 710 through 814. Has that already been done before, too, Nancy? Okay, so entertain a motion to accept. A motion to accept. That. Commissioner Second. Farias and Second. seconded by Commissioner Rigo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have. TLC filming in Bicentennial and Oak Grove, date to be announced. Do you know anything about this? Let's see. This is the crew came in. Chris, can you come? Yeah, didn't I? Yeah. Can, can you come down motion to waive the rules for Motion to waive the rules. Come down and talk about this. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. So uh, I received an email from one of the producers from TLC. They're filming a TV show that follows, um, I believe it's a Fall River resident going to um, places in Fall River that are important to that individual. Um, they listed Oak Grove as one of them and Bicentennial, I believe um, Monica from the mayor's office might have forwarded over to Nancy, I'm not sure. Um, but I relate to her that it would require park board approval. Um, they had dates in mind, but they emailed me back saying that they had to cancel those dates and would forward dates over to us as soon as they had new dates. Um, and I also provided information as to they'd have to provide liability insurance, pay the access fee, um, any overtime fees in incurred by um, either the park or cemetery staff and follow the rules and regulations that are in place. Do you need, um, we don't have any date at all now. As of right now, no. Um, I, I did. I did mention to them too that they once specific dates were in place, that would have to be approved by the board as well. So they know that it has to come back when they have specific dates. Uh, but I think they were looking for uh, some type of approval as to whether this would be acceptable before they uh, schedule some type of um, travel for their production team. What is it that they're doing? Uh, they would be visiting the cemetery with that individual and filming that person's so visit. The cemetery, what are they filming in the cemetery? They didn't give specifics on that. I mentioned that you know names on headstones yeah. wouldn't be allowed to be shown unless it was that specific person's family um, and that they'd have to follow the rules of the site access agreement that we've had in place for other um, people filming or doing photography in the cemetery which includes you know leaving the place in the condition that it's found um, stopping any type of production um, if there were a funeral funeral service at the cemetery um, and um, making sure that the liability certificate and everything is in compliance with Corporation Counsel's office. Okay, well, it's hard to, uh, um, I guess we could ex accept it, but we don't know the, the date. Yeah. Pending date, and then they could, we could you come back. Would, yeah, we're going to have to go. August yeah. 7th, I think they'd have to come back with all the information that the board wants. It's an August 7th meeting. They can't make it, they don't I know mean, where they're don't, filming, why they're filming, what they're when doing. they're filming. It's like a blind decision. Yeah. Yeah. What letter is they're going to do this? They don't. They don't. Okay, okay. so I'm going to make, I would, yeah. I would entertain a motion to table. Motion to table. Okay, to Commissioner Schoenberg, table, second. and second by Commissioner Rigo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Thank you. We have more information, you know. Absolutely, I will let them know. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, item K, Korean War Monument event, August 24th. They had this before? This is the gentleman who came into the last meeting of Citizen. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, this is for the dedication of the uh, bricks that are going to be down at the um, monument, for the Korean monument. Yeah. So it's going to be the other four that will be at home. Um, what, what is the event? Do we have anything listed here? It's, <laughs> it's just a dedication. We already had the. Uh, I thought there was going to be food in here. Is this the one? Nancy, can yes. you? 
from the information that I have on it, if you, if you read it here, it's, it's ten by two, two ten by thirty tents, which is going to require the building department. Yep. Uh, outdoor gas grills, which is going to have to be a commercial grill rented from a company. It's not going to be able to, I mean, there are some stipulations that are going to have to go along with this request. Um, I can, if the board doesn't have a problem with the date, they would be able to award the date pending um, him filling out the civic events form and contacting all of these departments because it seems to be a much Bigger than okay, so then I'm going to entertain a motion then to approve August 24th at 1 with pending the information. Maybe you can come back at the August 27th, uh, of the August 7th meeting with the particulars. Yeah. So we don't have a problem with the date. No. The problem is with everything that. Yeah. Okay, Should we table it? We could table it until then, right? Well, I think what he wanted to know was whether it was going to be allowed or not. Oh, okay. So, so then I, think you can I would entertain a date. motion for it to approve for the date, August 24th at 1. With pending the stipulation that it comes into the August 7th meeting. With the, with the pending him coming in, right, on he August 7th. was planning 7th. to come to the last meeting, but it was canceled, so we need to go Unfortunately, yeah. I'll make the motion. So you're going to approve the date? We're going to approve the yep. date. Commissioner Schoenberg made the motion, seconded Second. by Commissioner Rigo, and pending. And it's, his, it's his festivities that may have to change. If he comes in on the August 7th meeting so that we can see exactly what he has and what he needs. Yeah. Okay. That'll give him some time. That'll have some time yeah, for him to work. You, you always work with them anyway, so. Okay. Item, I guess it would be a correspondence from Greater Fall River for Carnival. I'm sorry? I don't know that. Oh, that's lost. Okay, sorry about that. Charter school buses, use of Kennedy and Maplewood Parks. Is John Perry still here? Yes, he is. Do I have a motion to waive the rules to talk to John about this? Make a motion to waive the rules. Motion has been waived and seconded. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Thanks. I didn't know you guys thought you were left. I no, no. Like, oh, no. Hiding. He's hiding. <laughs> so, John, yes. um, Kennedy Park is a mess. It's a mess. That area. From is the a bus mess. drop From the off bus. and pick right. up? Yeah. Yeah. And um, when we were there, um, Joe and Commissioner Schoenberg and I were there, and um, you know, this, remember the kid, the, the child was running from the, the playground into the um, parking lot, almost got hit by a car. Mm -hmm. It was, it's not, it's not a good drop off. Okay. It's, it's a huge safety issue. Okay. Okay, so what we're hoping that they can maybe look for another, maybe down on Bay Street yep. or something else because, I'm sorry? Proposed. Oh, you did already. So you're way ahead of us. Yeah. So we've we've been working on that. Nancy and I have been oh, working okay. on that. We've been working on. We actually got a contract that came out, gave us a price on repairing the area that needs to be repaired. That would be done by the school, um, and, and the bus company would pay for the actual uh, grassy area that was damaged from the cars. And on the city's end of it, we looked at expanding the roadway to widen it up, uh, and put some curbing and or an asphalt berm. Uh, to give yourself a real barrier between the parking lot and that grass area so cars aren't jumping up on there. So anything that's going to go in or any changes, the board will see it before of you actually do the work. Absolutely. With, uh, so right now with, with the construction aspect of it that we looked at, um, we're waiting to see if that new drop-off location, and we've reached out to the school, I actually reached out to them again today, I'm hoping to get an answer back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Uh, to see if they've made any progress on, on inspecting that area to see if it's going to work for them. Um, I'm hoping that it will. So pending that decision, um, that will have an effect on exactly what we do up top uh, and, and might change a couple of things uh, where we can maybe even save a few bucks okay. uh, on the construction <coughs> aspect of things. Right, because I don't think we've, we've seen the pitches before. Yep. And I can tell you that um, this board, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that. Um, it's just a mess, and Certainly. that shouldn't. Somebody's going to get hurt, and it's not fair. Of course, the school's paying for it, but mm -hmm. it's 
it's not a good bus stop. I would ask um, that maybe the board could draft up a, a letter um, okay. with its concerns okay. for the drop-off locations. Um, that way we can present that um, on our side of things with Charter when we have the discussion and the sit-down. Uh, so that we can show um, the, the strong feelings that exist, uh, yeah. not only on our end, but from the board's end, as far as to how things have been going. Uh, and I'd like to do that sooner rather than later, as okay. Nancy and I have discussed, because uh, the longer it takes, the closer we get to school opening up again. And if we don't have a viable solution in place at that point, um, it's, it's going to be a catch-22 where kids need to be dropped off and picked up. Um, but we haven't come to a resolution as in how we're going to fix the existing problem. Now that's for Kennedy Park. Now Maplewood, I was in that area when mm -hmm. that happened mm -hmm. and uh, when they were picking up and dropping off. And again, you've got the same problems. You've got people cleaning out their cars, their, you know, um, kids are running back and forth. You've got, it's, again, that's I would, going to be your next problem. Yeah, so I, I would suggest time. that those same concerns, <laughs> that those, uh, those concerns that um, for each park individually are addressed in that letter okay. that the board would draft up. Um, as far as the trash and, and the, the, the conduct of the parents at the locations, I, I, I think um, for the most part most people are, are conscious of what they're doing. Um, fortunately we can't control no, and that wasn't my intent. Right, so so hopefully hopefully with the concerns being expressed mm -hmm. um, uh, in, in a formal way, uh, that they'll take more actions on their end as a school uh, to, to talk to their parents and put out some information to them to let them know uh, that these problems exist and that they need to be put under control, otherwise they could possibly lose those drop-off and pick-up areas. Okay, great. Yeah, because Maplewood now, they're driving right up on the side. You saw it too. Yeah. So they're driving right up yeah. on the side. Yeah, so. no, I agree. It's something that definitely needs to be addressed. Okay. Certainly. Right. Great. So, uh, thank you, John. No. Okay. Anything else for John? No? Okay. Thank okay. you. So I would entertain a motion to draft a letter sending it regarding the uh, Kennedy Park and possible um, Maplewood Park bus stops because they're ruining the school. So I'm going to make a motion. Okay, motion. Second. Commissioner Faria, seconded by Commissioner Riga. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. M. Thank you, Joe, for doing this. M. Correspondence from Greater Fall River Recreation, Carnival Letter from Support from the Mayor, Morton School Students, Veterans Bicentennial Bathrooms. These are all correspondence that we received. And a Spirito Santo thank you. So just to let you know, um, Greater Fall River Carnival, although we do appreciate everyone who's spoken, from what I have been told, is that there is no carnival in a park. The only thing that if it's trumped and someone trumps it, I just hope they put it in the grass area. That's all I would ask. Um, and we got a thank you letter here from Espirito Santo School saying thank you to the park workers. So thank you very much. So I need a motion and a second for the correspondence to be accepted and placed on file. Need a motion and a second. A motion. The motion's been Mike, made Mike, by Mike, 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 I'd like to address more concerning the economy if I could. What do you think? Yeah, we already have a motion on the floor. <laughs> There's nothing that we can do. There's a motion on the on the floor. We have to accept the correspondence. It was already made and seconded. I understand how you feel, but it's been We'll address this later in commissioner's inquiries. But you're supposed to have input after a motion is, is called for. No, the motion and second it. It's been motion and second it. We I make, we make the, yeah, we make the, we can I talk can about it. Yes, you seconded. Mm -hmm. Helen Rigo seconded. So, commissioner, Farias. That's not it. That's not it. Yeah. That's right. Am I wrong? You're right. Okay. All, all in favor? Right. All opposed? The ayes have it. Department updates. Nancy, do you have any updates? No, I mean the projects are coming in, the splash pads are on. Um, we haven't had any <coughs> complaints with them. Um, they're, run, oh, they're running at their regular times. Um, business as usual. Mm -hmm. yes. 
there's no talking, please. Just let us go through with this, and when we get to commissioners' inquiries, we can discuss what we have to say. Thank you. Um, so, sorry about that interruption, Nancy. That's all you have? Okay. Chris, do you mind coming down to tell us if there's any updates? Um, no specific updates. We're waiting on uh, the delivery of our columbarium units that are uh, okay. still under construction right now. Okay. Um, I anticipate them arriving sometime the end of August, beginning nice. of September. It's going to look nice. Good. Yes. Okay. And I just want to thank um, both the cemetery workers and the park workers for all the hard work that they do. I know it's not easy, and I know people get upset, but they work very hard in what they do. And um, I just want to thank them all. And I know that the board members here um, also feel the same way. They do the best they can with what they're given. And um, so thank you very much for everything that they do. Commissioner's inquiry. Just to touch base, when I, before I came onto the board, there was a law in place, or voted in place, that there's no carnivals in a park. It seems like there was meetings that were held at the office, of the mayor's office, that the neighborhood associates didn't like it, although I got one today, and um, we heard from, from people. It's a rule. If it gets trumped, all we ask is that it goes into the grass area. <coughs> the mayor is the executor, he can do whatever he wants, but this board can't say yes for some and no to others because there's been a problem or whatever happened before, you know, some of us came on. We can't change things midstream. Um, it's unfortunate, but we have to stick with what is on the books for the Board of Park Commissioners, which have said it. Now, with that said, I have reached out and I have been looking for a place. Um, to have like a civic area and um, but that's a work in progress I mean there's nothing more that we we can do um, so I wanted to just stress that that it was on the books I think what you say it was 1991 yeah, it's on yeah. so it's something that needs to be looked at obviously and we need to get a place now Commissioner Rigo you had a question I know why can't they do the back of the Henry Lord School. That has a big field. That's a good point. I know that I asked. Well, Mr. Corey left. That was my question to him. No, Mr. Left. Corey's right here. Okay. Oh. As a school thing, why can't you use the Henry Lord School? They're worried about the saw. Uh, well, what are we worried about the Smith at Kennedy Park? It's basically almost, it's like swamp land down there. They're, they're worried about the soft surface. Right, that's the problem. Everybody's worried about the schools. Everybody worries about the gates. I tried it, I reached out, and I was informed by the by um, Mr. Gallagher that they don't want it down the gates because it's going to, you know, the stakes they put in can ruin the sprinkler systems. The stakes they put in can ruin the sprinkler systems at Kennedy Park, too. And that ring, they redid, they took, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't it federal money that they redid that? That um, the ring, state money, federal, federal state. I, I mean, I don't know, but are we free to speak? Yeah, back and forth. Well, you can raise your hand, come down. Like we can make a motion to speak. You can come down if you'd like. Thank you. Before Mr. Curry talk, I have I have some a statement to say. Before I was on this board, there was a, a rule made: no parks, no carnivals on the parks. I was a big advocate of that. For me to turn around and change my mind now, you know the flack that I would get? I've got to stick by my guns. I was the biggest, biggest thing on that. No carnivals in the parks. And you know, that's why I think that going back and forth, it's a healthy dialogue, and, and although we appreciate it, there's nothing much that we, we can say. Do it, but. Um, but you don't want it at the schools, they don't want it down the gates, and they then they say, well, go to the park, and then when we don't want it, we're the bad guys, you know what I mean? So it's not fair to us either, time after time, when we try, and then, you know, oh, you can't have it at the gates, but, you, but oh, because of this, and then you can't have it on school property, oh, because of that, but have it in the park. And then all the money that Mr. Dion just said that he spends money, so much money in the parks, making these parks much better and, and improvements, 
then that goes up. So we need to find a place, and I and we said this last year that we were willing to work with the administration to find a place that we can have events that isn't going to cause problems because it's not fair for this board to always be put in this predicament. So I can tell you right now, there will be no more carnivals going on, any more agendas for this board because there's no carnivals in the parks, there's no carnivals at the school, there's no carnival at the gates. Well, then let's all put our minds in and start thinking of where we can have the carnivals because it's enough and this board cannot keep going through the stress that we've been going. We too are volunteers, man, and we try the best we can do. But let's all think together then. If you're an advocate for the school and, and you know, the children and everybody wants to put, you know, smiles on the children's faces, well, let's do it. Let's find a spot. But you can't spend all this money of the taxpayers' dollars and say, okay, sure, put it there, and then something happens, and then we're going up to Mike Dion saying, Mike, guess what? I need $250,000 to fix a park again. Let's be creative. I have no problem with that. You have no problem with that. Oh, Mike. Gotcha, <laughs> Chuck. Okay, so I don't want to even talk anymore. I don't want to waste any more time with, with people because we have other stuff, but let's be creative. Could I ask a question? Last one, and that's it. This okay, is this to bed. What can we do? What can we do to Mike, set up? Well, wait a minute. Let me, let me, I'm sorry, because Mike, you did ask. So yeah, I did. I did ask. Well, it that wasn't. Was... It wasn't that I was not addressing Mr. Dion. It's just a time and a place for it. You need to waive the rules. Yes, I know. Motion to waive the rules. Thank you, Nancy. Waive the rules. Second. Um, like I said before, there's nobody that takes more pride in the parks than community development. Okay, so, um, you know, and, and, and I respect this board too, okay, very much. Um, uh, you're right, something has to be done. We've had, we've had carnivals in this city going back to the Viveris era. Two carnivals a year. One that helped the veterans and one that helped CD Rec. Okay. Um, uh, and, you know, in speaking with the administration, the administration, you know, and I, like I said, I respect you guys. The administration feels they don't need the vote of the park board. And the reason why is because it's a community, it's a, it's a city-sponsored event. Okay, then. That's it's just, not, it's not based on CD Rec coming down asking for a carnival. I understand that you guys right. don't want carnivals, then, 15 carnivals all summer by every nonprofit in the city. This is a city-sponsored event. Sponsored by the mayor's office, sponsored by community development, and the funds were going to go to the CD recreation for the children in, in the community. Okay, okay. So hold on, hold on, hold on. You made no, but Mike, in all fairness, you, okay, in all fairness, you just said that the mayor's supporting it and he's going to do it anyway, so then you don't need the vote of the board. We want to work in cooperation right. with you guys. We, don't, we, we respect you. This administration respects this board. We also have a rule in this. Well, maybe we need to change that rule. Well, maybe we need to Just let me finish. Yeah, let him Only one large function in a park a month. You want to have it at the beginning of August, correct? Because we're up against correct. time. You guys you also have the great Holy Ghost feast coming on the 20th of that month, correct? Yes. Yes. Right, Nancy? I just want to make sure. I'm but right. we're, we're, we're totally separate parks, too. We're on the lower part. We would be on the lower part yeah, of Canada. So we're going to be on the upper part where the ghosts are, where the Holy Ghost is. Well, if you want to be more, we're on the upper part. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. This is how we feel right now. Yes. Okay, and that's just how it's going to have to be, unfortunately. And because it's tensions rising in here. And unfortunately, this is what we have. And, you know, we understand that if we, we're trumped, we're trumped. But we just hope that all we ask is that it goes on the grass. The mayor is, as you said, he, you know, he is the executive. If he wants to trump us, he can trump us. But I understand, but, but we want to work with you guys. I, and I understand, and we appreciate that. It's but, very important. But the neighbors are the ones that suffer because they have the feast, they have this. But I don't want to go back and forth because, it, you know, we respect you. We respect everybody. What, but to me, I just feel like this. we're just kicking the can down the road. Sure, you can trump us, but the bottom line is, you and, know, we need to be creative and I spot. agree with you. Trumping you is not the answer. The right. answer is coming with a final decision of saying, let's do one carnival in this city sponsored by the city of Fall River, one a year. Right. If, if the beneficiary of those funds change every year, mm -hmm. so be it. Right. But, but let's, you know, we've done this for years. And why all of a sudden, and I'm, I know it's not you guys, the short-sightedness of this, 
Stop it. Don't do it. We want. We don't want it anymore. It and I'm not saying you guys are short-sighted. Yeah. Somebody at the time, we don't want this anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's not the answer either. Those no. parks are built for the city residents to enjoy them. Right, and also for the people that are around there. That Correct. So we have to be... Ne we Correct. Have to be but the traffic for a carnival is not going to be any more than the traffic there's going to be for the Great Feast. That's correct, but it's the same month, or as the, Joe was saying. Under, understand, and the problem with that was we were going to have it, try to have it sooner, okay, but... The last meeting got canceled, well, and you know, and, and he's got a schedule. Yeah, and he's got schedule. The, yeah. the the person putting on has a schedule. We're gonna we're gonna make sure that we comply with every rule of the park board that you have. <coughs> we don't wanna. It's not us against you guys. It's okay. not. That's not the situation here. Well, thank you we want to. We want to come up with an answer to this. We said going this last forward. year, and all due respect, we said this last year, if I'm correct. That we needed to find a spot because everybody doesn't win it, yep. and everybody says, "Okay, we're going to look for a spot, and then you know we can't have it." They go to the school department; they don't can't have it in the schools. The schools grounds everybody. All taxpayers pay for that too. Correct. And you can't use the gates. We pay for that too, and right, the gates would be perfect, exactly. But nobody will let them go there, evidently. And now, if it doesn't go in a park again, we're the bad people. So I don't even want to discuss this anymore and Marcy, because you I know, feel like we're like always taking it. And it's, it's so disheartening to hear because then we hear, oh, well, you don't care about the city and you don't care about this. And, you, and it's so untrue. It's just the rules on the book. Does it have to be looked at? Could I, could I, could I ask you to work with me over the next year? Mm -hmm. Could you, this board, work with community development? to work to find an alternative spot for I this. I would gladly. I'll pick I you up, I'll take you out to lunch, I would gladly. and we'll drive around the town and look for, look, if no, Helen wants I'm to come. I'm serious, I would gladly be. I'm there with you, Mike. I'm look. telling you, I have tried, and, and it's so important. So have we, we have tried also. Okay, then you know what, here we go, this is awesome. So, so. We're gonna, everybody's gonna look for a spot. We're gonna look for a spot. Next year, hey. next year. For next year. For next year. Absolutely, you know, I Mike, think we've been kicking this can down. I'm telling you. Correct. Years, and I think it is I need help. Time. It's about time that we solve this issue the right way. I have a question. Why cannot we use the gates? Well, he said it right here. I asked. I yeah, ask. she, she asked, and I can't talk for Mr. Gallagher. He's the buildings and grounds gentleman. Um, um, I think there's a sprinkler system that's run throughout that property. Right. I, I can't comment on that, Helen. I, I, if, if you want, I can get Chris to, and you in my office to talk about it. And I just think maybe, you know, we, we get the city maps out. We look to see what's available to Thank us. You. We look at, you know, maybe, maybe it's the bottom of Kennedy Park. Be you know, I, I don't know. I'm afraid to come you know, to this meeting. Really. She's been sick should, over this. You should never be because afraid. Because we've been trying, as Nancy said, we I have tried for we, a year. In order to solve the problem of this board and everyone else, I think it has to not be a park property, but I think it has to be a piece of property that we all know is acceptable in the neighborhood that's not going to be disturbed. But I think, like we said, this, this has been going on. My opinion, I've been in this department for a long time. If I told you how many times I heard someone say, we're going to find an alternative location, we're going to find, and like you say, year after year after year after I'm year, it's the well, same thing. But I it's up to, to us as the park that's what department, we need to as the school department, as the city officials, to find a place right. that's not a park. They don't have to we break to their official And I'm committed to that. Me too. And I think 100 all of us in this room should be committed that's to that. That's right. I'm committed to it, and I want to work with you guys over Thank the next you. several several months to get I this tried. done. I tried. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm going to expect that Thank phone you. call. Definitely, and we need to talk about the park police. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. So, Thank see, you. that was great. So, thank you guys very much. You have to find a place. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all for attending, by the way. I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. Thank you very much for attending. Natalie, you don't have to give anyone mouth to mouth. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. You're saved, right? Yeah, she's oh, saved. You don't yeah. know how sick I was. She's been so sick. Thank you. Well, that's not fair. Victim. Is not that fair to put me in the Victim. No, what? Where are you going? This meeting's not over, people. <laughs> well, I know. Victim. I know well, it's not. They're saying bye. Chris, I'm sorry. I'm calling victim. Wait a minute, they're not, the meeting's not over yet. Okay. okay. Chris. I, know. We, I have a motion on the floor, and we need a second. A second. Okay. okay. An alternative to work. To work with Mike Dion for an alternative.
for an alternative place to hold our civic events. carnivals or events. Okay, so who was the motion? The motion was Joe and seconded by Herman. And I take, I like that. Because the problem is it's not going to be one carnival, it's going to be carnival. Well, carnival after, no, so no, it's not. It's going to be a place. I think we should just have one carnival. Well, we don't have a place yet, so we'll, we'll worry about that. We don't even know if you're going to own the place. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. That's right. Do have it, okay. So, commissioner inquiries, we basically just did all that. Anybody else? Any commissioners? Now yes, we can talk. That was mine. That was yours about yeah. that? Okay. If we do have something, it will be if. Okay. Done. Yeah. Um, can we have a motion to waive the rules to have Chris Brown Motion down? to waive the rules. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Well, I didn't ask a question. No, no. I'm sorry, we cannot do that. So that is it. Yes. A motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Okay, motion to adjourn. Thank you. Who's the second? No second. Motion to adjourn. Who's the second? Victor.